2. Look at the page 2 now. You actually see a circle and a chord and a, a tangent. Right. Let's name them, please. Right. We got the chord. Let's, let's call the chord as AB. The chord is AB. So let me say that's an AB. That's a point A and this is a point B. So we have AB, a chord. And the blue line is a tangent. Please listen. Definition of tangent. It meets the circle at one point. Externally, please. Right. Let's call this point as a T. So AT is a tangent. That, that, that whole line there. And AB is a chord. AB is a chord, please. Now we are going to define alternate segments. Listen very carefully. Right. Uh, you need to look at the angles first. Is there any angle formed between tangent and chord? I can see one angle here. Now, this is an angle. Please watch the screen, please. So, that's the angle between a tangent and a chord. Right? Now, do you agree there is an empty space here? There's an empty space there, right? Now, this space is called alternate segment of this angle, right, of this angle. That is called alternate segment of this angle, please. So, let's just write there alternate segment. And that's the alternate segment, please. Okay. Make a note in your worksheets. That's alternate segment. Okay. Now, this is the alternate segment of that angle, right? If you consider this side angle, that's the alternate segment. Whereas, if you consider this angle, we'll do in the next sum now. If you take this angle into account, that small part here is the alternate segment, okay? Now, let's look at the next one where we define alternate segment again, okay? I'm taking the angle this time on that side. Well, this is the obtuse angle, please. More than 90. I'm taking this angle there. Watch. Angle between tangent and chord. Okay. If you want, let's name it. Well, this point is A and we call that point as B in the last one. And we said this point is T. Okay. So, we got tangent AT. We got the chord AB. We did not consider this angle we took that angle. Now, you mustn't look at this segment, please. Forget about this. This smaller one, this minor segment, watch the key keywords. This segment is called alternate segment of that angle. Okay, that's the alternate, alternate segment, alternate segment of this angle. So, those are the two one needs to know, right? Whenever there is a tangent and if there is a chord, the chord must start from the point of contact only. The chord should not start here, all right? It should start from the point of contact. So, let's go back and then say, that's a tangent, a chord. You chose the angle between tangent and the chord and we call this as alternate segment, right? The second one also more or less the same thing, but we chose the obtuse angle and in this case we chose the acute angle, right? Now, obtuse angle when you choose, minor segment will be the alternate segment. If you choose acute angle, major segment will be the alternate segment, right? So that's the definition of alternate segment, okay? now. Once you finish that, once you finish that, uh, let's go to page 3. Let's go to page 3. You will see a question uh, similar to that. Okay. Page 3, please. Uh, that's on the screen now, page 3. A similar question. We got a tangent, a circle, and a chord. The chord starts from the point of contact. So, Let's go and say that's the point of contact. Right, this is the point of contact. I'll make it a bit big for you to see. That's an A 
and call this one as a T, please. Let's go for that as a T. Now, AB is the, is the chord, right? I want you to do practically something for you to see exactly what is, what is going to happen here. Let's measure this angle first, okay? Let's measure this angle. I want you to measure this angle, please. So angle measure plays an important role. Let's go and see what is that angle, right? Uh, I'll take you a bit close. Right. Once, once again, do not measure it wrong, please. The center point there must touch this A, okay? And the zero line, you will see a zero line there, watch. That zero line should touch the blue line. So I'm going to put it like that. Center point, center, center point, yes. Then we are looking at zero also. Well, it'll touch. Okay, now I want you to measure the angle, please. Look at that angle. Right, we start from zero, so 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's a 55 on top, uh, 55, 56, 57, roughly 57. That, that's a point there, 57, please. So let's write here as 57. That's a 57 degrees angle. Now, it's the angle between tangent and the, and the chord, okay? Angle between tangent and the chord. What you do now is make an angle in the alternate segment using this chord. You do the same thing, exactly whatever I'm going, going to do. You are allowed to choose a point on this pink arc, any point, anywhere you, you like. Let's choose that point there, okay? And then join with B and join with A, we formed an angle. So let's just draw that and then see. Okay, we got it. Yeah, that's, that's the one. So I joined that. Now we need to join with this point also, point A. Join with point A, please. Now, we made an angle, we made an angle here using AB. This angle, let's, let's say it's AB and that's a C. The angle at C is formed by the chord in the alternate segment. Now, let's measure this angle and see how much do you get, okay? How much you get, just measure that angle. So, let's go and see the angle at C, please. Uh, center, center point. Again, that center, the plus mark there, center must touch C, and then the zero line, that zero line which you are seeing, must touch this blue line, please. Okay, so there it goes, that touches the point roughly. Well, we may not get exact value, but uh, it'll be approximately same. Let's go, that's a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, that's a 55, and I got 57. I got 57 there, please watch. That's 57, okay? Luckily, we got same. Well, it, the line, lines are very thick. If they are thin lines, you will get more accurate answer. Right, now, <coughs> let's study this now. Let's study this whole question. What it says is, there is a tangent and a chord we said angle between tangent and chord, we measured, we got 57. We made an angle at C using AB, the same chord, and we measured that angle, we got 57 again. Now, let's use one more point there, one more point on top, and measure the angle and, and, and C, right? Let's join that, and join the B also. We are making one more angle, using a b chord 